Hello, thank you for joining us at Conocogs on our YouTube channel. We appreciate you joining us and hopefully you will learn something about regenerative thermal oxidizers today. We're going to give you a tour of a combustion chamber and ceramic media bed of a regenerative thermal oxidizer. Right now we're looking across the length of a 40,000 SEFM regenerative thermal oxidizer. And you can see as we scroll up, there's access doors above each bed. Uh, the chamber itself is lined with insulation. Those are welded modules uh, welded to a quarter inch thick wall of the uh, uh, main chamber. And there is a divider between the two beds called the crotch. And it is uh, insulated and uh, it is the separation between two beds. This bed, which as you're looking, you see there's no ceramic, ceramic media here, but uh, right about that ridge along the width of this and the length of it is where the ceramic media bed would be up to that level and uh, it is the heat exchange media that absorbs heat as air say in this one cycle would be coming up through this bed uh, would cross over in the combustion chamber area which is pretty much above that ridge of insulation as that dirty air crosses the bed it uh, and into the second bed it's running at approximately 1550 to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit and destroys the VOCs. And then that hot, clean air passes down into that second bed, uh, giving off heat to the ceramic media and then exhausting out to atmosphere as clean, uh, cleaned up air. You'll see here in this wall, there is a thermocouple protruding and that is an in-bed thermocouple. Good thing to monitor, especially in high VOC applications. Uh, you'll see also in this bed, there's a thermocouple on top that measures the combustion chamber temp. Again, the access doors. And then on the far end, you'll see a thermocouple protruding down from the ceiling and a thermocouple in the wall. And you'll also see where the burner would be located. We have it boarded up uh, for storage and took it out for travel because of the width of this unit. Uh, we'll look down into the coal face. You'll see here this is a perforated plate supported by a myriad of pipes uh, that help to distribute and pick up the weight of the ceramic media, which is about 45 to 50 pounds uh, per cubic foot. Uh, we uh, thank you for joining us, and we hope that this has been instructive in helping you understand more about regenerative thermal oxidizers and how they are constructed.